let's export or back up our entire mailbox. This actually is a lot easier than it might sound. We're going to come up here to File in Outlook 2013. We're going to then choose Open and Export, click, and then we're going to choose Import, Export. We're going to get this wizard. Now this wizard is the same wizard that you've probably seen since Outlook 2003. This hasn't changed much at all. The way to get here sometimes does change. So as long as you can get past the previous navigation in Outlook 2010, 2007, and so on, once you get here, everything is fine. We're going to choose Export to a File, Next, and then we're going to choose an Outlook Data File, or PST, Personal Storage Table, maybe sometimes called Portable Storage Table. Next. Now, we see the main connector for my mail account. I can choose this, or collapsing it just for a moment, we see that I also have my online archive, and I have another person's mailbox that I have full access to. I can actually choose to back up hers. I additionally can back up my public folders. Each individual connector will take a different export session to back up. Just keep that in mind. So for instance, if I only want to back up my mailbox, as well as my online archive, I'm going to have to come back another time to do this properly. I'm going to select My Mailbox. Note that Include Subfolders is checked, and I'm going to click Next. Now I need to choose a location to back this up. And, more importantly, I need to choose a name that will help me remember what this specific file is, and even maybe when I backed it up. So I'm going to choose Browse. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to type in here today's date, which is 2015, February 19th, and then I'm going to call this Outlook Backup for Cloud Ninja. I'm going to click OK. Now all I've done is I've just told it where I want to store it and what I want that file name to be. I'm going to replace duplicates with items exported, and I'm going to choose Finish. Now finally, if I want to satisfy some sort of internal compliance, or just for my own security, I can go ahead and set a password here. But for my mail account, I'm just going to go ahead and choose OK. It's going to take a moment, it's going to prepare the database tables, and then you're going to start to see a progress meter. Now. I have seen backups literally take hours. So if you have a brand new mail account and it's just been created, it's not going to take that long to back you up at all. But in the case of older mail accounts that have been around for years, you might want to do it toward the end of your day because it could take all night.